In today's video, we're going to be using Visual Basic to make one of our very first apps called Hello World. Now, it's quite a simple app. It basically looks like this. It's got two buttons on it, and when we press the Click Me button, you can see the words Hello World appear. Okay, below that we've got a Quit button, and all that will do is quit the program when it's clicked. Okay, so it's quite a simple one to make. Let's get started. I'm just going to close this solution off. What we need to do first of all is open up Microsoft Visual Studio Express. Now this program is free to download online. Okay, just go to Google and search Get Visual Studio Express and you'll find a link straight to it. Okay, so download that and then you can also make these apps along with me. Once you've downloaded it, I want you to go to the File menu, go to New and we're going to create a new project today. The project's going to be in Visual Basic. And we're going to be making a Windows Forms app with the .NET framework. So click OK on that. Oh, actually, don't click OK yet. We've got to give it a name first of all. The name of our app is going to be Hello World. See the solution name copies that across. That's fine. And the location is wherever you want to save it. So you should be saving this into your documents somewhere in a place, or logical place that you'll remember. And you can click OK once you've got that. That's going to open up our app. Okay, at the moment it's just a blank form. This is known as a form, and this is where we put all our buttons and labels and things like that to get our app working. Alright, so the first thing you want to do with this form selected is just pop over to the properties box here on the right hand side. It's just a couple of things we need to change. First thing, I can see it here, it's highlighted already, it's called text, and it's form 1. That's this writing just up here in the top left hand corner. Let's change that to Hello World. Okay, and when you click out of it, you'll see Hello World appear in the top left of our app window now. Scrolling down a little bit further into the design section, it's got a name here called Form 1. I want you to change it to FRM, which is basically an abbreviation for the word form. So FRM, and what's called Hello World. This is all one word. Okay, so now we've got form hello world and when we refer to this form in our code That's what we're going to call it Form hello world okay, It's a meaningful name that describes exactly what this is All right, so that's our form uh, looking pretty good if you want you can give it a background color So in the properties You just need to change its back color in the appearance section just click on it over here, choose the drop down box, you can choose one of the system colors, they're a little bit plain and boring, so if you want you can come across to the web or custom colors and choose one of those. So I'm going to choose one of these blues, I might go with a deep sky blue, and that's looking pretty good. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop over our toolbox here on the left hand side. Alright, so all sorts of different things we can bring into our app, and what we're going to start with today is a label. So looking down in our toolbox, you've got a label, just pick it up, drag it, and drop it onto your form. With that label selected, I want you to scroll down in the properties box, and the text that you want this label to say is not label 1. I want you to write in hello world. A couple of exclamation marks at the end if you want. And this label one here, when I click out, is going to change to Hello World. Okay, going back and selecting that label, if we go down a bit further, we're going to give that label a name, so a meaningful name. First of all, we write in LBL, that's our three letter abbreviation for a label. So LBL, Hello World, all one word there. Just break up the words with a capital letter at the start of them there. All right. So that's looking pretty good. We do want to make it a bit bigger as well and give it a bit of colour. Alright, so scrolling back up in the appearance section, you'll see the font. And you can click on that and just hit the little dot 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 over on the right side. And you can choose a nice font that's a little bit bigger. Hopefully fills the top of the page there a bit, a bit more. Uh, let's just go with Cooper. Click OK. So that looks pretty good. If you want to change the colour of the text, just change the four color. So from black there, I'm going to go to the web options and I'm going to choose like a yellowy kind of color. That looks pretty good to me. All right, so we've got Hello World appearing there. Next thing we're going to do is bring in two buttons. 
So in our toolbox, we've got the button option here. Just drag out one button and then drag out a second button. Okay, you've got button one, button two. Go back and click on button one for me. And over in your properties here, let's change them around a bit. Let's change the text written on button one. So instead of it saying button one, this one's going to say click me. Scrolling down a little bit further into the design section, we'll give it a name. It's going to be called BTN. Click me. Okay, so BTN is the three letter abbreviation for buttons that we're always going to use before we write the actual name of the button. Click me. It's just a meaningful, a meaningful name for that button. You'll notice also that click me doesn't fit on the button at its default size, so you can just stretch it out a little bit, make it a bit bigger. If you want to colour your buttons in, very similar to the background, you just come up the top here. You should be able to change the back colour. Let's try this. And, oops, choose a greeny kind of colour. That's oh, probably a little bit too bright. Let's go with this darker one. Looks good. The four colour. You can change that too. I'm just going to go with a kind of white kind of colour. That's looking pretty good. Um, if you want, you can also go to the font here, make it a little bit bigger, might get a size 10, might make it bold, click OK. That's my button looking pretty good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to button 2 and just do it up in a very similar way. So scrolling down, we've got some text here, let's change the text on the button face to say quit. Going down a bit further. In the design section, the name of the button, so when we refer to it in the code, will be BTN. And then we'll write quit after it with a capital Q. So button quit. Again, you can jazz this one up a little bit by going back up the top and changing the font. Um, let's just bump it up a couple of sizes. You can also make it a bit bigger like the other button as well. Try and get the the same size if you can so it's consistent. So that's about right there. Um, give it a colour as well if you want. So you've got four colour for the font, you've got back colour for the actual colour of the button. Might go with a reddish pinkish kind of colour for this one. Where are the pinks? There they are. Let's just go with an orchid colour. And where's the four colour? Just here we'll change the four colour something a little bit brighter. Just make the text bold if it isn't already. There we go. So I've got our two buttons on now. I might resize this form a bit just so it fits them in a bit nicer. That looks good. Alright, so basically when we start our app we want this text here that says Hello World to be hidden. And there's an easy way to do that. So you click on it once, come down in your properties here, in the behavior section you've got visible. I'm going to say, set it to false. That means when we first load up our app, the visibility of Hello World label here is false, which means we can't see it. When we press the Click Me button, though, we're going to change that visibility to True so we can see it. So what we're going to do is double click on Click Me, and up comes our code. Basically, what this code is saying just here is what's going to happen when we click on that Click Me button. Alright, so it's quite easy. Just need to write LBL Hello World dot visible equals true. Can't get much easier than that. Basically saying when we click on the click me button, the label hello world dot visible, so the visibility of the hello world label will become true. Alright. If we save that and run it by pressing the start button at the top, hopefully that's working. Just take a moment to load. So there we go, the visibility is turned off. When we press this button, it turns itself back on. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is just get this quit button working, which is very easy. I'm going to go back to my form 1 tab up the top here and double click on quit. All I need to write in there is end. E-N-D. Okay, and it's basically saying when we hit button quit and click on it, we just end our app. So let's give that a bash. We'll hit the start button up the top, press click me to see hello world and 
press quit to quit the app. Alright, that's pretty easy. Everything's labelled nicely. It looks good. It's working. We've got our first app all done. So save that up. Just hit the save disk at the top if you want. I'll see you in the next video.